in continuation to protozoa the next phylum is acrasiomycota so we are going to see just only the important points in the entire protozoa plasmodium poromycota is the most important uh, fungi generally we used to consider sometimes we may expect questions from myxomycota also but uh, as we plan to do the videos in detail uh, when it comes to mycology we are doing uh, even small things also so as a part of it uh, in continuation to the protozoa the phylum is acrasiomycota i am anish shankar reddy phd plant pathology so generally plasmodium poromycota is already over now we are seeing uh, acrasiomycota acrasiomycota is generally called as uh, acrasid cellular slimy modes uh, we are going to explain only uh, important uh, or the basic points uh, that is actually uh, required for not only for exams uh, but also to keep it in mind we are not going in detail about all the points but we are going just uh, inputs are like uh, common features or general features or some important points to be considered such kind of things only we are mentioning here so some common features uh, about this acrasiomycota is popularly called as uh, acrasids or acrasid cellular slimy modes so it is actually a very small group of uh, cellular slimy mold which comprises of only one order that is uh, acrasials only very important are only one order is there acrasials uh, with the uh, four families and 12 species it is the very smallest uh, cellular slimy slimy group and this slimy mold is generally found in a uh, moist soil and this growth also can be observed on uh, dead plants or rotting mushrooms uh in the especially in the earlier fruiting stages uh, we can observe this uh, acrasiomycota or this acrasids or acras they are generally characterized by what are all the general characteristics are like uh, we will see the characteristics so the in the life cycle of this uh, acrasiomycota or acrasids generally a cylindrical amoeba exhibiting the phototropic nutrition so almost like a uh, photosynthesis right phototropic kind of nutrition it means almost like a photosynthesis generally uh, it produces a cylindrical ame amoeba so it's like uh, amoeboid like structure can be produced the production of amoeba in the life cycle is also one of the important feature when it comes to acrasiomycota so it's some common features are exhibiting the cylindrical amoeba which actually phototropic kind of nutrition amoeba have a single large lobose pseudopodium pseudopodium in the sense it's a kind of wall or i can say protuberances or like kind of outgrowths or uh, uh, protuberances in the sense some kind of outgrowth that is actually lined by some kind of lines so we can see here for our understanding i have placed some uh, a picture here this is a common amoeba so this common amoeba which is like some outgrowth kind of things will be there that is covered by like a, a wall like thing right so this uh, this uh, acrasials also produce, produces uh, the amoeba which is having a single large lobose pseudopodium we can see here this is actually the picture taken from this acrasials and the locomotion of amoeba occurred by the explosive forward burst of the cytoplasm so however whatever the direction the cytoplasm is bursting like you just pushing like a force right so if it is a pushing in this direction it will start to go in this direction if it is a pushing in opposite direction whatever the direction the cytoplasm is pushing or bursting forward the amoeba will start to move on the next slide i have a very beautiful picture that will uh, explain about this uh, how this amoeba will move or explosive forward burst will happen and all those things in a simple way only not in detailed way the movement of amoeba resembles like a limax since known as the limax amoeba or limax means uh, this is the limax hope you guys know uh, this limax right in telugu we used to call uh, uh, natta i don't know about other languages but uh, this is the limax like a, some kind of a gliding movement or some kind of like a twisting kind of a movement can be observed right so this amoeba also resembles like a limax so hence known as limax limax amoeba or limax amoeba and this acrasiomycota is actually differ from uh, myxomycota uh, the myxomycota is also the next forward important thing after uh, plasmodium poromycota in pro uh, this protozoa the four classes are uh, four phylum is there i think we have already discussed uh, in the lecture number uh, pl pl uh, plasmodium poromycota itself here this acrasiomycota is different uh, myxomycota in the following ways generally this acrasiomycota absence of flagellate stage there is no flagellate stage the myxomoeba is the main trophic stage in acrasiomycota if you see in acrasiomycota it will produce a myxomoeba that is the most important uh, stage this is how this feeding amoeba or myxomoeba will look like whatever the cytoplasm cytoplasm um, is 
growing in the direction the same way it will go forward so the mixa amoeba is the most important stage or the main tropic stage in acrasio mycota the phenomenon of aggregation leading to the formation of a sorocarp so where the phenomena of aggregation in the sense all this uh, 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 this uh, amoeba actually aggregates from the amoeba this uh, sorocarp will develop for uh, having a great understanding i have placed a picture here see this is actually the amoeba from amoeba a small uh, sporangia like structure if it is in a uh, umicota group of fungi we can call it as sporangia they are calling as sorocarp there is nothing to confuse here what is sorocarp or sporocarp all those things it is like a spora spor, sporangia spore only okay from amoeba only this uh, sorocarp is developing from sorocarp again it will give some slimy kind of uh, spores this is slimy spores only in the later stages they develop like a amoeba as like of sporangia again the sporangia spores the juice spores are produced again from juice spores like like this continue like cycle continues like so here instead of juice spores there is a specialized stage called mixo amoeba stage that is the main trophic stage this phenomenon of aggregation this all amoeba aggregates that form a sorocarp this is the sorocarp like a sporangia so from this sporo sorocarp slimy spores are produced uh, we used to call juice spores in uh, umicota here we call as slimy spores this is slimy spores in later emerges like amoeba here we can clearly see uh, this slimy spore later emerges like amoeba this is the feeding stage however the cytoplasm direction is going that will go again uh, this amoeba zygote is formed from this uh, from this uh, amoeba only again this uh, sorocarps are producing again from this sorocarp uh, this uh, slimy spores are producing this cycle will continues so here this slimy spores are produced this slimy spores are actually refers are they are not disseminated by wind but they just regarded as a unit of survival rather than dispersal they won't disperse but they used to survey as a uh, they used to act as a survival agent here i told you limax movement this is how imagine just take a look into how this uh, uh, amoeba is moving like a uh, like a limax or like a snail we can also say like a snail right so that way it is uh, moving right so these are all the some common features of this uh, acrasio mycota so the examples are like uh, acrasis uh, copromyxa gotulinopsis and uh, fonticola these are all the couple of examples that comes under uh, acrasials this is the only one important genera and the, these are all the few of examples are the genus comes under these are all some common features are the common things that we need to keep uh, about uh, acrasio mycota for further information uh, students can refer my book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version With doubts clarification and guidance students can reach us at www.geekyresearcher.com stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers